Hey, Snickers back again today. Today you send it's another pup, yes. This is Puppy Linux 528005, licensed to ill. Yes. It's an update of the old 528. Remember, it's not the main pup anymore, but because it's so popular, people are still using it and it's been updated regularly. This one was done around about two weeks ago, 10 days to 14 days. I just didn't have time to do it. And they just sent to me, what's the main differences? Well, there's lots of bug fixes and little bits and bobs like that. Yes, it still uses Ubuntu repos also. So there's plenty of bits you can get. So if I go to install, I'll just quickly show you the bits that actually matter that's different. I ain't going to go through the rest today because you know what it looks like. There's no point in going through it all again. Otherwise, I'll get bored as well. As you can see, there's lots of stuff here to install for your heart's desire. And there's already lots installed anyway. A GTK record on desktops here. If we go down to document, there's other stuff here. Abbey words here, but there is no Abbey word here actually installed for the simple reason this is the larger ISO. This one comes with full LibreOffice, okay? So it's around about 289, 300 megabytes download. You can still get the one without the LibreOffice, but you know, if it's there, it's only 200 odd meg anyway, no big deal really, is it, at the end of the day? So I'll show you what I mean. If I go down to menu and document LibreOffice 3.5, so we'll click there, wait for do. There we go, nice and quick, wasn't it? So you get the full one here, it gets everything. Unlike some distros that only give you a couple of bits, this gives you it all. So if I open the spreadsheet program up, you'll see exactly what I mean. It goes reasonably fast, isn't it, really? And it's on PUP as well. So it could be nice on your little 8 gig USB stick. It will fly like the wind, fly like the wind. Yeah, baby. Okay, so that's one of the main differences, okay? Right, I've installed a browser because you get a, a browser app chooser thing in Jig, and I've installed a browser here. And then I just did click the wrong one there, didn't I? What an idiot. I'll click Browse, and I've downloaded Firefox 11, okay? You can get whatever one you want, it's entirely up to you, but that's the one I've got, okay? I've also installed Flash, so if I go to YouTube, we should be able to play a little bit of video in the house, okay? In the house? Yeah, in the house, okay. So there we are, yes, we're there. That'll do for me. Let me just put me in, shall I? Press up quadrate to a machine gun. Ooh, lovely. So if I type in me, when I can type properly, that is. There I am. Top of the tree. So let's just quickly go to my channel. Hang on a minute. Okay, we'll go there. That's will take you to my channel and we'll just do, make sure one works, basically. Okay, it's the last one I've done. Sneaky quickie. Let's see if it plays and if it doesn't play, by the way. There you go. Runs nicey, nicey. Super dupery. Can change the quality to whatever you want it to be. There you go, nice and it's all right. It does the job, doesn't it? Basically, so yeah, Flash works, YouTube works. You can do all that stuff that you want it to do. Nice. Quick Pet is still here with all the Quick Pet stuff, and you can get the SFS files here. So if I quickly go to SFS, it's all here for you to get. So that's here, yeah, Samba and Skype are all there. I'm surprised you didn't put Skype on actually, personally. Installation is a usual pup installation, so it's super duper, no big dealy. Uh, what other bits are different for you that I can show you that are going to make any relevance to you? Well, not a lot, really. Not a lot, no. It's all usual. Everything all works, though, so that's the main thing. Okay? It all works. Yes, install the Gparted works. All oh, the cloud apps is what I was going to show you. A couple of bits here. These are shortcuts to websites that do stuff. So the thing I was going to show you was converter. Okay. And basically, it's an online converter. Now, for converting audio formats, if you didn't want to use the puppy one, this is, by the way, you just want to use this, audio would be fine, because it's not going to be too long. But by the time you do, if you want to do a video, say, so 50 megabytes, by the time you upload it, it converts and comes back down. It's a lot, in it? But on the other hand, it does support a lot of formats. Audio as well also supports a lot of formats, including WMA, WAV, and OG. OG. I like OG. Oh, yeah. And ebooks as well, it does. So it does the e publisher, the Mobby, BDB, and TCR. Okay, and it also does archiving as well. If you want to do a tar, zip, or whatever you want to do. So that's all right. And there's quite a few things in the utility thing. I'll go back to it and show you one more time. Back to the cloud apps again. There's an audio Bible. Might suit some people, not me personally. There's Pixlr for doing your photos online. You've got all the apps here already to do it with. Zoho Online Office Suite, Google Docs is here, free desktops, apps, and 200 games. It's just another website, really, at the end of the day. Now, I've installed Gimpy to make sure everything works. 
I'll take it to graphics and we'll go up to here. Hello, Mr. Gimpy. We'll let him open up. We should fly along. There you go. So you don't really need to use that cloud app stuff, really, don't you? Go down without that, really. You should have Gimpy instead. It's super duper. Well, also I installed it. Well, nothing really. There's nothing really you need to install to be really honest, unless you want to do desktop recording and more video stuff, all right? You can get open shot for this, by the way, as you well know, it's been ported over, so that's super duper. You get double F convert, the multimedia converter. Simple reason, it's probably the best out there on the market, and it's super fast, fine, super, and it looks a little bit different as well. So as you can put your source in, destination, what you want it to do, bish bosh, you're done. Okay. So if you want to update your pub, the new ISO is available up there on the Puppy website. Well, if you go to the Puppy forums, you'll find it. That'll be a Puppy Linux 528005, okay? And you'll be able to download that. It'll take you a couple of minutes on a decent connection or half an hour on a slow one. If you like Puppy that much and you want to use these Ubuntu repositories even, it's the baby for you. It's 85 out of 100. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.